Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have two special guests, Jackie, Sydney, and we're gonna try some Korean dishes, Korean street food. Do you know any of these? I know that. That's it. What is it? Kimbap. And you? Yeah. Wait. Is this not? Is that tteokbokki? That's tteokbokki. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that's yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that one over there? Oh, uh, I know. I don't. What? Oh, the slush. No, oh. this, this, this. That's fish I cake. That's like fish odeng, fish odeng cake. Mm -hmm. mm. Fish cake. And then that's, uh, this is like the like fry that. food. That's sunde, so like blood sausage. And this is like Korean horcha. Ah, horcha. Okay. Yeah. So, Korean horcha? Yeah, but it's like not cinnamony. Oh. It's, it's, it is made out of rice though. So okay. there's a little bit of rice in there. I know it doesn't look like a huge spread. We kind of just threw it in here. But yeah, I want you guys to try it. If I make faces, y'all, um, it's not to be mean, okay? I'm just a picky eater. Just They're actually huge fans that. of Korean yeah. culture. I love Korean food. It's just, it get it takes a, it takes me a while to like go for it. Cause I'm picky. Oh, I hate being a picky eater. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, and I have some questions. Um, I told you, oops, I asked you guys to ask them, and we're gonna answer them. Alrighty, don't look at the questions. Oh. Look at the food. <laughs> I was like reading it. Okay, let's dig in though. 잘 먹겠습니다. That's what you guys say. No. 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹겠습니다. Yeah, she's so good. 잘 먹겠습니다. No. <laughs> no. No. She's shy. Just tell me what, what is. Okay. What is so the there's like a whole bunch of like different things that are fried here. So let's see what they are also i'm using a fork guys because i'm not gonna i can't eat chopsticks it's okay i'm gonna think i'm gonna say this is like sweet potato i'm gonna say it's like a potato you want you want to try it yeah i'm not trying this. and this is mandu mandu is dumpling do you like dumplings Yay. there you go and mm. i i mm. smell like ojingo which is octopus i like this yeah you like it okay. i love it what is mm. this the same mm -hmm. i think it's squid squid mm. ojingo is it not this no that's that's potato, sweet potato. Mm. That's koguma. Koguma. Yeah. Okay, with this, you want to dip it inside the tteokbokki sauce. That's how a lot of people eat it. Oh, that no, you can just do it like that too, but yeah, people love doing that. Okay, so this is this is you said uh, a squid. 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 Yeah. Squid. 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 The dumpling. Mm -hmm. Um. What is this one? I have no idea what this is. Hold on. It smells like onions. I feel like it's onions? fried onions. Okay. Might be. And then this one? That one, if this is called kimari. It's basically, there's clear noodles in there, glass noodles in there, and then it's wrapped in seaweed and then fried. <laughs> yeah, I want you to try that. Mm. Try, try this one. I'm really scared. Mm. Just just have a bite and if you don't like it, then you don't have to. Is this supposed to be dipped in what you said over there? Oh yeah. Is this supposed to be? If not, I'm not. Anything, anything. This is actually a combo. You like it? How did you try this yet? Oh. Yes. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Mm -hmm. Take as many of this. Take some cheese, Sydney. What do you mm. think? It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Not nice. what I expected. First bite of tteokbokki. Mm. I've mean, never had this. The first spot. question about us? Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's good. The tteokbokki is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all in different sections so we have about us we have self-care we have relationships both friendships and with men mm -hmm. this is all girl talk y'all we have self-growth and we have opinions okay so about us how tall are you guys five six five four i think that's five seven five seven yeah i don't know how that i'm pretty like god so tall <laughs> i'm five two and a half i'm five two and a half Jackie always likes like wearing heels. I hate wearing my because I don't wear little heels. Like it's very very rare that I do. I wear like big old platforms. And next to Esther, I'm like a freaking giant monster. I wish I was a giant. Should I even try using chopsticks? Yeah. Try eating this. You can also dip this in the tteokbokki sauce as well. This is bulgogi kimbap. This is probably the most popular one. Try. No, you I tried. Okay, then you can't break it. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, you told me to put this in the tteokbokki? You can, but you could just eat it by yourself. 
Uh, it's a. Uh, I feel like it would be pretty flavorful enough on its own. Mm -hmm. This is not what we had at Nixon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There. This is the squid. Mm. Guys, Lulu's here with us. Mm. Mm. The good. batter in this, batter on this is good. What do you think? It's good? Mm -hmm. Really good. I needed this that night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got drunk like last week. We got drunk two this times in a row. Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Guys, no more drinking for me. That's a lie. I'll see you next Unless week. Unless y'all want a nectar. I'll see you next. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you this weekend, actually. You know what? I'll see you tonight. Let's. You guys want a nectar? You guys want <laughs> Look at her. She's itching <laughs> Guys, I swear I tried really hard not to drink. I that's that was not that hard. Sydney, do you want one? Esther, mm -hmm. normally you know as soon as I get in your house, that's true. Where's I'm like, mom? where's the nectar? Mm -hmm. But I, it took me like thirty she's minutes. She's holding back for a minute. She's, she's easy when it comes to alcohol. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm doing. I guess. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And sip on it. Which one? <laughs> You guys want you want a light seltzer or do you want a juice? Juice. Juice. Okay, try this one. L lychee lily koi. So Nectar just dropped alcoholic juices and they're bomb. I don't know. I want you to try this. Hold on, let me try it first and see if it's up to standard. You're like, actually this one's not that good. No, this place is really good. It doesn't taste like the traditional shike that I'm used to. You just kind of taste a lot of the icy. It's like a sludge. Oh, yeah, Can't really taste. Much. Oh, it's good. You like it? I don't know what it tastes like, but mm. it's like rice. Rice. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm. What, dude? It tastes like a a slushy version of that drink Maru made us drink. Do you think you she gave you? Uh, she could. I don't she know. Could. She's like, this is my favorite drink ever. In Korea? Korea? Yeah. When we were at She probably um, gave me Shikadu. You don't remember in the can. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Was yes. it like tiny? Yeah. Yes. That's Shikadu. Mm -hmm. As it me. Sydney. What are three things you are most grateful for? Family. Mm -hmm. Very specific family. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Friends doesn't come up like no friends, but yeah. like <laughs> very specific friends. <laughs> what is true? You know what I mean? Like there's like a, a certain. You're not thankful for all your friends. Just select. I'm thankful for all my friends who are there for me. Okay, okay. That's what I mean. Um, and God giving me another day of life every day. Okay. Subscribe to my original content platform uh, where Jackie spills who she's not grateful for. <gasps> not <just> kidding. <laughs> I don't have anything like that. I'm not grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have that. No, I'm grateful for everybody in my life. Yeah. That's a lie. Bum, bum, bum. No, I am. Not just kidding. <laughs> what about you, Sid? Mm, God, family, friends. I know everybody says that, but for real. Friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. That shit's so good. Mmm. Mmm. So which one do you want to try? Mm. Try it first. Squid? The squid one, yeah. The squid mm -hmm. one's good. This one's good. Alright. Dip, you try dip it? it in the sauce. Yeah. I said it was good. Alright, I thought you had the sweet potato one. Let me try this one. Yeah. I don't know, I had that too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. I'm telling you, I'm over here grabbing. Mmm. She's a little more picky than mm. both of us. Mm. It's good, huh? It's because I'm weird about texture. Yeah. The only thing she probably eats that has weird texture is oysters. I don't mind oysters. Yeah. Okay. God, family, friends. <laughs> yeah. She said, okay. Was Jeremy, like, oh. Jeremy's fam. Mm, <gasps> Jeremy's my family. Mm, period. My, hu my hubby. 
And right. you guys are invited. Yeah, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting too. I'm gonna turn oh. up there. No, I bought this for myself. I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, is it, are you supposed to tell something right now? Mm -mm. She's like, surprise, guys. Mm -mm. I feel like, Ooh. no. Remember when we went to Lock and Key? Mm -hmm. Yes. And and that guy was looking, and he was, but she was like, oh, but she got a ring on her middle finger. I said, yeah, she did. Yeah, I'm like, thank she goodness. She did have a ring on her finger. Thank goodness. Here, take some on your pool. What? Like the stuff? Yeah, the cookie. So. I so you have some at all times. Makeup products you can't live without. Mascara. Makeup. Makeup product. I said makeup. If you product. say one thing, mascara. <clears throat> okay, what's your favorite mascara? L'Oreal. L'Oreal. I would say mascara as well. But um, they have like 60 million. Mm. <laughs> mascara. Telescopic. Oh, okay. Yeah. MCO Beauty Waterproof is my favorite right now. Mascara too? Yeah. Oh. I don't have lashes, I can't use mascara. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Okay. I would have to say, I'm stuck between like lashes mm -hmm. or like the lip product. Because mm -hmm. I look dead without lip product. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I look dead without mascara. Mm -hmm. But I'm also really used to always wearing mascara mm. but you guys both have really long lashes that look fake i think it's so I long for them i worked hard to lash through yeah mm. you guys are so lucky it looks like you guys have makeup at all times even if you don't have mascara no because your lashes are so thick like your lash line is oh, thank you. You look good. Oh, man. but me i would say lashes i would say strip lashes is something i can't live without mm. I'm gonna ask the next question. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm in relationships. Oops. Your favorite perfume, I can't say. Oh, you want people copy? No, because I have like 50 perfumes that I don't know which one to choose. It's just like, this is what I want to wear today. This is what I want to wear today. Because mm. I get gifted perfumes for my birthday a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's like the Burberry Her or Guess. Julie gave me a Guess one and it smells so good. Um, there's one from Skylar. There's also a Versace one that Bao gave me. There's a Gucci one. Oh, I don't know. The Sol de Janeiro? The body. Yeah, I mm. love that. So good. So Wait, which one? The Which color? I like the light pink, like purple, purple, and orange. This girl literally puts on everything. Yeah, <laughs> no. No wonder you can't choose. That's why I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. know. And the Damn. Dancing Beauty perfume also. Mm, you like that one? Mm, it smells good. My mom said it, I smell bad. Is that the one she said? Oh. Did I smell bad? Uh -huh. I liked it. I liked it too. You know that one perfume that Rihanna got like made famous kind of? Like her scent that I really was obsessed with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know it was already famous, but I'm saying that she <clears throat> bought it to, to life. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I, I bought that and that shit is so expensive. I put it on, I went to my mom's house and my mom was like, who is that? Oh <gasps> no, who is that? Like, yeah. And she, and she was like, she was like, Esther, don't put that on again. I was like, who is that? Who is that? <laughs> like, you guys, when you got to sit these cards, you were like, <laughs> no, no. I literally heard her, like, say, she didn't know I was home, right? But she was like, she was like, do I saw, do that? Like that. That means like, Wait, that's who? Crazy. Yeah, like, like oh. is someone here, you know? And then once she, she said, I, I was like, I was like, I'm here. And she was like, yeah, she was like, literally like, oh. You smell terrible. That's what y'all did to me in Sydney's car. Well, rightfully so. But right. like, <laughs> so. that's the direction your mom has. She said, this ain't right. <laughs> we came back from like this little karaoke bar. And now we're walking back to my car. We get in the car. <laughs> and we're all like. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just like. <laughs> We were dying laughing, like, who is that? So we're like, everybody check your shoes, because it was, like, disgusting. I thought someone shit their bed. Yeah. And I was like, no. So we're all trying to figure and out. we were like, for the good 10 minutes. Yeah, like, like I'm driving, out. and I'm like, all the windows are down. Like, it was that bad. Like, I, I couldn't Dude, we were like the like Spider-Man. We thought Spider-Man meme. We were like. <laughs> we thought it was outside, too. We were like. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was, like, the leaves and stuff outside. So we're like, oh, like, oh, it'll go God. away. Yeah. It'll go away. It came with us. Later, we're I driving. I came with y'all. <laughs> we find out it was Jackie. She had stepped in something. Then this girl so cool rubbed guys. it on my <laughs> my carpet, and I was like, "When you get out of the car, so put that in the trunk." Because 
it was <laughs> disgusting. Wow. I'm so sorry, was, guys. The smell was so bad. <sighs> the fact that it, it kept so following bad. us and we were still like, it's the sewer. LA <laughs> sewers are really bad. Like, LA <laughs> always smells bad. I could have sworn it was not me, bro. I want to put money on it that it wasn't me. We were all looking at each other's shoes like, who is And I was it? like, I know my car doesn't smell like that. <laughs> How to have trust in your man when you've been betrayed in the past. He's so loyal and I'm deluded. Take it away, Esther. Well, <laughs> explain, explain to them why you guys. I'm lonely. No. <laughs> I'm <sorry. laughs> no, it's because, oh, we've never been in a relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. how long have you guys been single for? <laughs> 22 <laughs> years. How old am I? Does <laughs> however old I am, that's how long it's been. That you're not knowing. I'm asking because there there's some people here that were that was like, is it embarrassing to be single? I'm 19 and I've never had experience with a man, and I was like, that is no. not embarrassing at all. Literally at all. Good for you for being single. Like that is the perfect time to get to know yourself. And do whatever you want to. Hmm. I don't know why people think it's embarrassing, but I understand that they. I kind of understand because of this like generation being so like fast. They feel that they have to be fast, but it's not embarrassing. I feel like I'm 22. I'm single. I've been single my whole life. I'm a virgin. I haven't had my first kiss, girl. Nothing to be ashamed of. I've been done dirty many many times. I've gotten cheated on. Um, I've had boyfriends that it, that thought was it, it was okay for them to talk to my friends. Like they would like it was it was it was weird because my first boyfriend, uh, obviously that's my first relationship. That's the first person I've ever done anything with. Mm -hmm. um, I I was hoping that they would all be friends. Like I wanted his friends to be my friends and yeah. like my friends to be his friends. Whatever, right? Like I wanted to be like a Everybody's happy cool. family. Yeah, but there was no boundaries mm. like you know so it was basically like he, he he would have like every single one of my friends like ig like phone numbers like ig tiktok whatever like cool right oh, phone numbers goodness. so like whenever we would fight he would message one of my closest Ooh. friends and they would always be talking and yeah <laughs> they would always be talking so like let's just say we got into a fight he would be like yeah esther did this and she would be like oh wow like that sucks like i don't know why she's like that stuff like that you know like yeah he did yeah and and there are times yeah dude, there are times when he would be messaging dude mm, he was such a dumbass but there are times when he would also talk to his close girlfriends and he was like very close to one of them I think you told me about this. Yeah, and they mm. were like, he was like, she was sending him like pictures of sex dices, and then he'd be like, oh, what is that? And she'd be like, oh, they're like, they're basically like sex dices. So like one one guy says like, like sit, and the other one says like on face or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or like or like kiss, like mm -hmm. forehead. You know, you just roll it in, and like whatever you get. Yeah, and so they were like they would say inappropriate things like that. He would wish like he would always be like, oh, like good morning, you know, like I hope you have a great day, like good night, like who does that with their no, you know what I mean? No, mm -hmm. when you have a girlfriend. No. So yeah, that has happened, and like there are times when, like if it happens once, I'm like, okay, that's still annoying. Don't do it again. Mm. It would happen. <clears throat> it would happen multiple times, and that's why I was like, you know what? Fuck it, you know. Basically, I got done dirty. Mm -hmm. It's like behind my back. Uh, that has happened. But the thing is, I've had really good boyfriends that haven't done anything, mm -hmm. but I let that that trauma and that insecurity like move over to my next relationship, and mm -hmm. that never ends well. Mm -hmm. So you have to give. You always wanna. You you should assume good intent in everybody until they prove otherwise. Like Jeremy, he's like. The best guy I've ever met, right? <laughs> but he did have to go through a lot where my insecurities came out. Mm -hmm. And I would just like kind of accuse him of a lot of stuff, which was not fair for him. But thank God he was patient. And he just kept proving that I had nothing to worry about. He mm -hmm. keeps me very, very, very secure. And if this man right. loves you and he's loyal, then you need to give him... That's what I like to hear, Jeremy. You need to give him some right. grace. You need to give him... 
like yeah assume what he does with good intent until <clears throat> he really does you dirty yeah then that's yeah. you know you gotta deal with that but other than that do not make this man miserable because i thought about it the opposite way let's just say that let's just say i'm very like uptight very strict with him i like he has like a short leash you know mm -hmm. um imagine he does that to me i'm not gonna like it yeah i'd be like oh my gosh shut up i'm going out with my friends imagine he doesn't like me hanging out with you guys yeah i would be pissed would off be i'd be weird. like yeah i'd be like like what the hell like i want to hang out with them you know what I me mean? mm -hmm. <clears throat> so i'm like it would not be fair for me to put that standard on jeremy mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. like compromise it's, yeah it's just both okay with what you do exactly so uh, so you know once i realized that i was like man jeremy i'm so sorry i literally like apologized <laughs> to him i was like jeremy i'm so sorry i literally kept you on a short leash when you didn't like you didn't deserve it yeah and yeah and then he was just like damn right i was like oh my god you're getting back on the leash <laughs> <laughs> dude you're just like you're so perfect i know there's no such thing as a perfect relationship but like from what i see with my own eyes mm -hmm. y'all are so cute together oh yeah. thank you that's everything i wanted we're to cute not perfect though how to end a situation ship <laughs> what do you guys think they should do? <laughs> I'm a little toxic. I don't know. I'd, I'm like one of you, those. Are you? No, I am. <laughs> this is toxic to people, but like in my head, I'm like, I'm just awkward. I just would stop talking to them. You'd ghost them. Yeah. You would ghost them. Yeah. And it's a non like, oh, she's toxic kind of way. I just like, I don't know how to. You want to deal with this? Yeah, like, I don't know how to. And things. No. Like, I feel bad, so then I'll be like, oh, we can be, like, you know, I don't know. You could be my buddy. I don't know about a situation. I wouldn't be in a situation. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't. So but I don't even know how, like, wait, but sometimes I would never put myself in the position <clears throat> to be in a situation. Mm. Hopefully, God, but not you guys, it, it just happens, so that's like yeah, basically please. like the dating yeah, stage, think. though. Okay, it's but like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that a situation. Like, it would be like, I was talking to this person, that's, but like, well, it didn't okay, work out. That's what the, the Gen Z's call it, okay, Jackie? <laughs> Just give it the program. It's a situation <laughs> you happen to get into. Okay. Well, it's Hold on, give me one second. Let me see if it's still recording. It just... <laughs> Wait, imagine. imagine. Comfort animal. Okay, we'll just start the, the We're intro. Not to, from the start. Yeah, okay, you liar. No, I, thought it, I, thought it, I thought it used to Esther's line. She can't fool me no more. I was like, wow, okay. What? She loves to play a lot of games. She does. She loves to, and she be dead ass. And then I'm like, wait, is she? Is she no, she Jackie. Me? Jackie. Now she doesn't give a shit. I'm like, okay. I could like, literally be like, Jackie, please, I need your help. She'd be like, shut up, Esther. <laughs> 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 Esther, shut up. Um, no, Esther, no. Esther, you're so. Bro, stupid. I was like, bitch, and I was like, wait. Oh, you know when I called you bitch, I was like, wait, can I call you that? Oh, I did the same thing. Wow. I did the same thing with Mara. I was like, bitch, and I was like, wait, can I call? You that? I have a video. What? From it was from Utah, and I was in the bathroom. I was playing with the bubble machine, and Esther walks in. She's like, bitch. <laughs> Every time I ever. think of calling my friend a bitch, Wait. I think of that Benji video. Wait, are you guys not? Do you guys not call your friends bitch? I do, but there's some people that are like not okay with that. Like men? Like it's no. <laughs> oh yes, but no. Like but I, sometimes I sometimes I do that to Jeremy. Like, but it's just by because I'm so used to it, right? I go like I go like girl, and he's like girl, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you'll, you'll do that, you know? But I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's a <laughs> yeah. right. No, I think there's some girls who just are not okay with it because they're like, bitch, we're not that close. Oh. For you to call me that. Wait, so I thought we were close. I thought we were close too, but I don't yeah, know. Why would you, why would you, you like, what the fuck is she calling me a bitch for? No, call me a double bitch. I don't care. B bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are, we are on first base, bitch. Call it, okay? Okay. Whatever. Can they call you that? Yeah, Ooh. you're going bitch. What the hell? Okay, thank you. I saw you been doing it. I don't I'm know. like, bitch. Maybe I've done it every time I text you now. <laughs> you guys just do it. I'm like, bitch. Are we hanging out today? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I like I like calling my friends that, but it's not like in a mean way. <clears throat> oh, how to end the situation? Ship. She says ghost. <laughs> I didn't say do it. <laughs> but you would because it would be awkward talk. I'm just awkward, so I don't know how to end that. I, w Wait, I don't know how I would end that. But Sydney, what if it was like with somebody that you were talking to for yeah. like six months? Oh, not even six months, four months. That's a long time. If um, because if you went on like one to two dates, like I understand if you ghost. 
depending on my comfortability, I'd send them a message and be like, listen, I don't really think this is working for me. It's probably not working for you either. <laughs> so it's probably not working for you either. It's time to end this. You should just make a video of you doing I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> like exactly like that. A voice and voice message. I said, yeah. Oh, so. Voice message? I don't really want to type this out, but I, I think I I think idea. I actually would write I would want to just like not say anything, but in my head I'd be like, okay, yeah. that's rude. Like just write just a message out of respect, and right? leave it at that. Yes. Mm, okay. How would you would you be more offended if someone took the time to text you and say, Hey, I don't think we're on the same page here, like, you know, I think that we should end it here. Or if they would ghost you. Which one would be better for you? Okay, I both would probably make me cry, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean yes, yes. Both both is hard. Yeah. But I would I would prefer yeah, I would prefer and respect it more if you send me a message. Yeah, okay. Because ghosting literally leaves someone up in the air. Up in the air. Exactly. Like, what happened? Was it me? Mm -hmm. You Not become anxious. Yeah. And it's, I would overthink to them. Don't mess. recommend it. Yeah. What would you do if you were if you were seeing this situation ship for three months, four months? I know this is sad. You should be like, bitch, we were talking? We were talking? Yeah. yeah I think we're a friend. Right. She's like, <laughs> well, that, that is honestly like real talk, like something that. I would do. But it's not even in a bad way. Like, I just. I don't know. You would say, you would think you were like, too oh, naive to know? I mean, we're not going to be doing anything, so. <laughs> so, yeah, we're friends. Mm, okay. That's the thing. I see a situation ship. I, I'm probably really wrong with how I define it. It's like someone who you are talking to, but you're also probably like hooking up with like that's how i view a situation yeah yeah versus the talking so. stage i view it as someone like you're actually really into and yeah well since i've never done anything i don't think i would just like do something right off the bat but like if i'm that talking stage it'll be like a good do you guys wow. say do you guys see the these beautiful <laughs> smart girls <right> here? <laughs> no i mean go crazy and do it right. have fun i just i don't know mm. i haven't experienced anything to really mm. know what i would do yeah Right. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I say no to ghosting unless I've only I been on ghost, like a yeah. couple dates with this person. Couple meaning like two, like one to two. Then I would. I don't care. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> now if I've been seeing him for like two months, whatever, or even more than just more than two dates, then I would, I would text him yeah. or call him. But one thing I would not do is meet them up because I feel like that's a waste mm. of their time. I think it's a waste of my time and I think it's a waste of their time to be honest. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should res you should be respectful and, and hit them up and be like, well, we need we need to talk. But I'm like, if someone, I'm just doing it the way that I right. would want Right, I'd be to. like, you hit me up for this. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you wanted me to come all the way here just for, I just to tell me this because the thing is, it's like, it, what? But would you really want it to be over the phone? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. it. I guess it really depends. Like again, about how long. Like, let's just say if it was three months and you really saw it going somewhere, but there was like a slight thing where you're just like, you know what? I don't. You know, I don't think it, it's gonna work. And you really do like the person, but you know for yourself that That's you should. That's so sad. Then I would Wait, maybe see them in person. Can you imagine like meeting up and you have this talk? All right, like bye. Like yeah. you're about to. Unless you're like, oh, let's be friends after, then it's not weird. But like, if it is, like, you just did this whole dramatic meetup. And yeah. now you're about to be like, okay. Well, and who's paying for the meal? <laughs> let's split the check. This is where we actually split the check right here. I think I think if I call someone, I'm going to I'm gonna pay for the meal. I feel I, I would feel so bad. Like, uh, I don't even want to think of, like, ever having to do that. That's so sad. You're going to have to do that. No. You're going you're gonna to have to do that. I'm only going to do it with one person. It's, ah. <laughs> it's giving good. I'm telling you. Hopefully, you, I'm hopefully, telling you hopefully God puts one person in my life, and that one person is my person. That's what I'm hoping for. That's. I mean, y'all can That's say it's, people say it's impossible, but it's not impossible. It's not. It's impossible. not impossible. It could be hard, but it's not impossible. It's. Let me live. It's hard. That's my dream. Let me live. I'm sorry, guys. You call me stupid all you want, but that's how I see it. I'm just uh, not feeling this anymore. That's what basically. Yeah. yeah. In a nice way. But how long is too long <clears> for the talking stage? Okay. How long is too long for a talking stage? I would literally give you maximum three months, and if you have not asked me, that I'm bouncing. Three mm -hmm. months is maximum. That's a long time. Like that, isn't that like when people start showing their true colors after like that? 
Man, I would say six months. Oh, wow. Question number five. I want to ask Sydney this. Why? Why? Now you... I'm trying not to look at you. I'm trying not to look at the screen. Like, how to stop... Jackie, that? Jackie, just be looking at all the questions. <laughs> how to stop other girls from funny be weird, Sydney, because I'm quiet and don't have much to say. Wait. <laughs> Wait. You just go... Wait, why do you want to answer this? Because I feel like she... Because it's me. Because that's she's not weird. <laughs> No, 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 because she's not weird, but she's always quiet because she feels like she doesn't know what to say. Like, but like, nobody, okay, but nobody finds her weird. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, she's saying, how do I? Pretty much get some, like, it's like yeah. confidence. Like, even though you don't have much to say, look what everybody else thinks. It doesn't matter. Wait, I, I, I have to tell you one thing. When I first met Sydney, I thought she didn't like me. Oh, why does everybody say that? Like, I said, I said, hi, and she said, <laughs> I said, I know what smile she's Dude, talking about. My mom's about to see this and be like, I told you. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. No. No, no, no. No, but, but when you get to know her, she's like the sweetest, like smartest girl. It's literally just, I'm shy. she's shy. So you guys don't get it like, you know. Just, just, you have to ease into a relationship. Or I realize, yeah. I realize that some people when they're not like chatty, it doesn't mean that they're mean. It's social anxiety. Maybe they're shy, whatever. And you know, you just have to see them a couple times more. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to get out of you feeling weird, but I don't really, I'm quiet because I do sometimes like just, I don't have anything to say. Like I'm like an observer, so I'll just like watch yeah. what's going on. I just don't really have much to say. And she do be observing. <laughs> she tells us the next day after we were drunk, you were doing this. I'm like, right. Yeah. Let me tell you what she was doing. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all what she was doing. Well, let me tell them what you was doing. What was yeah. I doing? You and Jess, okay? <sighs> yeah. Jess. I wonder if Jess even remembers. I mean, you can't stop other people from thinking. Yeah. You have to stop, like, caring what they think of you. Yeah. Like, if that's how you are, like, people think I'm a bitch, too, when they first see me. But it's like, as soon as you talk to me and get to know me, you'll know, like, that's not the case yeah or even like seeing you interact with other people yeah like, i may be like that like when i'm sitting but if like someone comes to talk to me i'm like yeah. hey da -da 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 -da. she's right though you she, you can't stop other people from thinking you're weird but maybe find other people that are shy too or that understand that you just don't have anything to say yeah there are people like that because when i was younger i would actually go to the quiet kids to be like hey what's up yeah she's very understanding i've had friends who are like still like after years of friendship like why are you like this i'm like it's just the way i am like it's not anything towards you or towards anyone it's just i just don't have anything to say it's so or annoying but i always tell her get it together friend <laughs> but you know what we've been friends for a long long time and i kind of yeah i just that's just how she is mm -hmm. i can't change it one day i'll find something to say <laughs> oh. she's, she's like, I do, and that when that day comes, <laughs> after, after we got our seventeen tickets, like an hour later, she was like, <laughs> I was, we were just like, ah, and then she just, yeah. But I never thought you were awkward, like ever. Awkward? No. I, I yeah, I awkward. never. Yeah, she's just quiet, but she's not awkward. Does that yeah. you know? Well, yeah, I that's do. that's my awkward phase is when I'm quiet, and then once I'm mm -hmm. comfortable, then I. That's yeah. what I don't feel as awkward. Um, okay, we're gonna <laughs> skip that. <laughs> We're not gonna deal with bullies and mean girls because you know what? You shouldn't have to deal with them. Wait, but the question is how to deal with bullies and mean girls, and you said we shouldn't have to deal with no, them. No, like it's not even a question. Like you shouldn't deal with them. Like you should just ignore them. It's not even worth it. And if they're just picking at you, like, dude, people. Yeah. I feel like when people. I don't know how old you are actually. Oh, yeah. Because I'm like, I feel like if you feed it to or if you're scared or whatever, like they're gonna keep picking on yeah, you. Yeah, I was gonna say, do. people don't really like know that how much power like ignoring someone holds like it literally drives them crazy oh, that, yeah. like you're not responding to like the things that they're doing it makes you. them feel stupid so yeah. let's just say they're being mean to you and then just and then just look at them like it's kind of like, like what the, the hell did you the just say like when like someone doesn't laugh at your joke and yeah you're like, oh say something mean to me <laughs> say something like just just like just like say you don't mean it but like just you're say not funny mean. yeah yeah okay like okay like not like, that's like, stupid. Not, like <laughs> and, or, or or just or just look, look at them like literally look at them and be like like no nah, I like just like what what is, what and then just walk away they'll be like and then like, they try to fight you like just let I was them to say it, unless it's like a physical type thing. <laughs> just, just let them and then go to the cops if they're being physical with you run 
DM me. DM me. No, I really don't know because, I mean, I do. I was bullied when I was younger. There was nothing I could do. But, like, now when I think about it, if someone's really trying to tell me something, unless it's a physical type of thing, I just, like, dude, bye. Okay. Yeah, bye. Like a mean girl, like, okay. Yeah. Anyways. Nice. And just also think about this. People that are being mean to you, whether it's at school, comments or whatever, just know that these people have no life. They are so unhappy with themselves that they need to Make project exactly project their insecurities and all that to you and so like when they're being mean to you all you have to think about in your head is this wow this person's unhappy and this person doesn't like themselves and yeah. that's sad you kind of you just feel bad for them rather than hating them you know and that's a different mindset to have what to do if you caught your man messaging a girl on only fans yeah, but he says that. he has a porn addiction that's cheating <laughs> Get out of the relationship. If you're less paying for the subscription. Mm -mm. No, if your man's doing that. You're paying for a subscription. You're paying right. for that subscription to message her. Yeah, that's crazy. It doesn't... If you have a porn addiction, then get help, okay? Also, girl, that's not your... You can't help him with that. He has to go get help. Get help. Yeah. Get help. And that's still cheating. It doesn't matter if he has... That's an excuse saying like, oh... I was on OF because I have a porn, addi porn addiction. It's just like, no, but it's still like you're messaging the girl. That's cheating. Yeah, that's, that's cheating. cheating. That's like yeah. literally taking extra steps, going out of their way. Right, that's like cheating. you subscribe so you can message her. Yeah, oh, man. Um, you guys, I wish I had more advice to give you, but the only thing that I want to say is just get the fuck out. Self growth. What advice would this future you give yourself today? Not everybody's your friend. Oh. And why would you say that? Because not, not everybody. everybody's your friend. I think because a, a, like a lot of little Jackie, all she wanted was friends and to make friends with everybody. And I still want to be mm. friends with everyone. Like, I, I, I try to be very... Like, I uh, like being social, but I try too hard and kiss too many people's asses to not, at the moment, realize that I wasn't being appreciated. Mm. And I feel so bad for little me, but... At the same time, it, I learned and I know people took advantage and took a, like advantage of my kindness yeah. and didn't respect me. Yeah. But I was a little girl. But yeah, I learned recently, like, not recently, but like in the beginning of, of 2020 that not everybody's going to be your friend and yeah. it's okay. You don't have to force it. It is what it is. Yeah, but I'm also glad that you didn't let that kill wanting to have friends. No, no. <laughs> Everyone wants everyone wants friends, okay? But yeah, you know how sometimes when you do oh you don't want friends? What the What? Uh -oh. She don't want friends. She's not even who she has. I I've over the years learned that I do not like a big friend group, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. But but you still want friends. Like if you didn't have Jackie, you didn't have me, like and you didn't have uh that one person that we were talking about earlier, then like you would feel like lonely. Oh shit, she don't feel lonely. What is she? She's like, actually, <laughs> oh, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> this sounds rude. It sounds rude. I love my so friends. I love right. my people that I have. But over the past years, I've learned to not put my happiness to rely like, your happiness rely on, on other people for my happiness. Of course. So like, course. say if I lost all my friends today, I'd be a little bit sad, okay. but I'd have. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna cry, but I have to like, you know, bring problem. myself up. I can't sit in my room and cry all day. I'm shaving my head. You know? Off. Oh my god. <laughs> Jackie's so dramatic. Imagine I lost all of you guys. I know. That would be saying. so sad. I'm so yes. You know what? I do rely on my happiness on. I don't. You guys. But I. Oh, you guys. Yeah, no, no, no. Wait on your Too much pressure. Yeah. No, really. My happiness is all relied on you, actually. So you have to like too much pressure, yeah. Jackie. That's I, all I, was I decline. Mm -hmm. I love all right, the people I love that make friends with. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but I love you my never friends. Do that. I don't don't take this the wrong way. I love she hates friends. her friends. I and do not. That's what she, she said what she said. I just literally over here like right an now. hour ago told Esther I think about her like oh, every day. Oh, by Jackie's myself. Tell them Esther. Anyways, I'm bad. just saying don't rely on other people for your happiness right? i mean that's and facts. that is something i tell myself all the time yeah it, it's facts but you know 
I like that. If they could, they would choose having a having good friends over not having friends. Yeah. 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 Anyways. A small friend group. Yeah. yeah. I like a small friend group because it's like people you trust. Yeah. Exactly. I don't trust a lot of people, so it's like, are you really my friends? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather keep my little world. circle small. Uh, no, Stop. I agree with I agree with her. <laughs> I I've, I've always been kind of a people pleaser. Yeah. So no, back right. then, yeah, I did a lot of shit that I shouldn't have done. I was also gonna say to put me first. Oh yeah. Because I always think about. Oh, what if they you gotta put yourself first? It doesn't matter yeah. what everybody thinks of you. That is so true. Let me tell you something. I put a lot of people's feelings in front of mine, and I mm -hmm. try to be like do the right thing, which I think it's the right thing. But these people never care about how you're gonna feel or what you're gonna do or what you were gonna do because all they're thinking about is themselves and you were over here worried about their feelings they don't give a fuck about your feelings and that's a fact i don't care i have my road yeah. Yeah. Little how did jackie so many times that how time. did how did like we survive i did it what <laughs> My, I don't know how younger me literally like tolerated as much as I did. My 2020, I was so happy too. 2021 was rough. When they say put put yourself first, like it doesn't it doesn't mean that like you shouldn't do. You shouldn't think about other people. Yeah, but you no, know, but think oh, about yeah. think about like is it gonna like ruin my inner peace or is it gonna you know mm -hmm. like drain my energy you know. Oh, like protect like, your peace, you know what I mean. So like is, yeah, protect mm -hmm. your peace mm -hmm. is. All I want in life is just like well, pure awesome. happiness. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like anything to protect that is what I'm saying. Like that's it. whether it's yeah. not not I mean, not caring about other people, but like you know putting you first or protecting your peace or all of that yeah. like correlates. Yep. That's what I mean. If we could like go deeply into like what advice we give our younger selves, I feel like it's a whole storyline. Yeah. For y'all, so y'all can really understand everything we're trying to say. But to make it easy, yeah, like put yourself first. Worry about your happiness and. Yeah. You don't have real friends. Also, <laughs> not all your friends are your friends. Yeah. yeah. Matter, also, right. do not ever uh, be in a rush to be in a relationship. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people want to be in relationships because they see everybody. social media or like everybody, like their friends, their family getting into relationships and you feel left out. Like, do it at your own pace. Mm -hmm. And don't let, don't yeah. let anyone into your life and inside you. Right. She said what she said. I said what I said. She said what she said. Y'all don't have to feel like you need to be in a relationship at all. What are some small things girls can do to look and feel better and confident? Okay, first off, diet. And I don't and I don't and I don't mean like lose weight and be skinny. Diet as in like take care of your health. Mm -hmm. When you are taking care of your health, eating healthy. Wow, look at all we did, all we had today. Anyways, if you eat like you know, if you start eating healthier, you start working out, yeah, and you start you know, um, just treating your body as like a you know your temple. Yeah, you're gonna have this inner glow to yourself. You're gonna start feeling good. You're gonna be happier, mm -hmm. and that's something that a lot of people forget. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I would say like when I was in my moments of working out and like taking care of my skin and everything, mm -hmm. confidence was like there. Mm -hmm. And then like I stopped and now I feel like a buzz ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I feel like a big man. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And even if it's not like working out, just like moving your body, like going on a walk or something like that, like you just feel like better. so much better. Like your yeah. body just feels different. It yeah. makes you feel different. And stop caring so much. Like, it's the one thing I will always say is, like, literally stop worrying and caring about what other people think. Or, like, how are they going to, like, what if I look like this? Like, they said, to, it does not matter what they think of you. As long as you feel good, it does not matter what everyone else thinks. Mm -hmm. You have to stop worrying. You're not going to match everybody's taste. I always tell myself that, like, not everyone likes, is going to like you like that. Like, just worry about yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you don't like yourself, then really think why you don't like yourself. Maybe tackle those. You know, what I mean, like you're like, um, like like for me, like there are times when I'm like, I don't like the way that my body works, like body looks, you know, and I'm just yeah. like, but what am I doing about it? Nothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then that's my fault. <laughs> for real. Like I don't like the way my skin looks, and yes, like we all have bad skin days, but like I will try to work on my diet. I'll try to. Uh, stress less you know i'll try to like go and get my skin done 
you know, uh, treat myself out, just like that. I just you know? be sad. Well, that's <laughs> you, just, why you need, you need, need to take action. Bit, but that's what I'm saying. I know the moments that I do try, yeah. I feel so much better. Yeah. Right now, I don't yeah. feel like I'm When I do it. start trying, then I feel like, oh, oh my God. I got to get in the gym. I got to get a new face wash. I need to... Stop eating like... Yeah, I need to stop eating crazy. so damn much. Yeah. And it's, you know, there's a lot of things that don't require money, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm not just saying, like, go get laser treatment, like, that shit is expensive. You could do other things. Like, yeah, there's a lot of free things, just look. But also, like, when it comes to, like, beauty-wise, maybe go get your eyebrows done. I realized when I was younger that that made a huge difference. Getting my eyebrows done made a huge difference. They're not It'll give that. you a, no. a cleaner look, but also, yes. but if you don't want to, also say. Just, just little things. Like little things, like let's just say you have your getting wearing your glasses. nails done. That's what I'm saying. Like keeping your nails clean, clean, clean. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like no, that's not what yeah, you put together. I know. Like I know these are very like Look. like shallow things, but they're like little things that actually help me. When I get my, my toes done, little my nails done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, put some you you on, good? Like. Like, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like, if you're dry, like your face and your lips, like exfoliate that. And make sure you have lotion on. Like I told this to Vit. <laughs> there, there, dude. There was a time when Vit was like, I don't know why, but I feel like I don't look good. And I was like, Can I? I think can I, I be honest? Podcast. And I was like, It's because you don't moisturize. You don't drink enough water. So like you're you're always kind of like dehydrated looking. And then, and then <laughs> dehydrated. It was crazy. That man has saw, like no pimples. I saw that. But, no, okay. but I was like always the moisturized. Guys that don't have water or do anything that like their skin is like. Ah. Yeah, no, no, that's that's people that that people with good genes. You know what I mean? But like, there's so many things you could do. Like, I remember when I was uh, I used to wear glasses and I was wearing frames that didn't fit my my face, Your and face. then I changed. And it literally changed my whole uh, whole look, and I like myself better. Oh, there she goes. And, and me. <laughs> And then after that, I decided to get contacts, and I realized that I look better without glasses. I love glasses. Yeah, it depends, it depends on everybody. But yeah, for Definitely. me, I was like, contacts was like a big upgrade for me. If you don't feel confident, then I don't know, perfect a hobby or something. I feel like me perfecting a it's hobby, so yeah, like getting good at something literally boosted my confidence. Like I did wrestling in high school. I was good at it, and that boosted my confidence a lot. Period. Like just take on something, you know? And perfect it. It makes you feel really good. good Helps you also make friends too. Opinions now. Mm. Do you girls care about boys sagging their pants? I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends. No, like, like a little wearing a belt. A little Calvin Klein. That's fine. Below your butt cheeks is crazy. Absolutely not. And you're wearing a belt. Like, what's the point of the belt? True. And like, you know, you don't know your size in pants. I have to be so in love with you to not care. Like, I don't even know. I don't want to see that. <laughs> like no, and then they wear like the smallest like shirt, and then like you can see it. It's no, like, like you said with this sagging and it's skinny jeans. <laughs> oh, with the belt. Yeah, the bedazzled belt. Jackie just said, Ugh, "I must. You, you have to really be in love with him to not care." I was thinking of a guy. His, his, his pants sagging up to his ankle, and Jackie's like, "That's my man." Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly, I, I feel like I could be in love with you, and I'd still tell you something because I'm not bringing you around to anybody. You're not going out with me. Exactly. You're not going out in general. Can I tell you guys what Jeremy wore his honor for uh, honor third? Told, I know this. Third yes, day. go ahead. Are you sure? I think you said it on the. On our podcast, though. No? Maybe. Oh, I, maybe, maybe I did. Mm -hmm. But on the third date, I remember him picking me up, and I was like, <clears throat> I was literally like, what the fuck is he wearing? But <laughs> I literally, like, I liked him so much that I was like, I don't give a fuck, but that shit's funny. <laughs> he wore, he wore, like, a multicolor, colored, like, sweater, like, knit sweater uh -huh, with stripes. Lose. So like Wait. multiple color stripes, and then he wore a bright yellow like raincoat. It wasn't raining, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's quite sunny outside. You guys, think of you know Paddington, yes. the bear. The bear wears like a red like raincoat. It was that, but like bright yellow. Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah, with very tight jeans. 
And we went to this like pretty fancy restaurant. So and yeah, I was like, I love you enough for me to be like, you know what, it's okay. I'd be like, at least the jacket. But you know what, I'd be having some questionable fits as fuck. No, so, I, yeah. Um, I can't say anything. I look like Adam Sandler every day. But I will not walk out of the house like this. But like, oh uh, no, uh, no. No. I don't know. No, but no, but I loved him too much. I was like, man, he looks stupid right now. I don't have enough fashion sense, but there's some. That's just the only like, thing that really is like, I can't get with it. The saggy pants? Yeah. yeah. Would you guys want me to tell you if, like, something was off about the yes. way you look? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, mm. I mean, Dude, as long as what my friends used to say was, you have anything else? <laughs> you have anything else to say? Oh yeah. no, you have anything else? That that is that was like their polite way of saying like yeah, let's that's not. You know like, what I mean? Let me go see. But but yeah, but but that's when I asked them like, hey, mm -hmm. like, what do you think about this outfit? They're like, oh, but do you if they're just giving you? their opinion, it's like nobody asked me. Nobody asked <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, would you want to say it without? I would asking? want to say it, but not in. <sighs> That's a hard one, because like, what if you're like so confident in your fit and you're like, what else do you have? Oh. <laughs> oh. That would be bad. That would actually low-key be like rude, right? <laughs> but okay, something that you can say if they don't ask. It would be it would be weird if you asked and then they told you is like, let's just say I have something stuck in my teeth. And then I have to ask them like, do I have something stuck in my teeth? And then the, they answer, but they wouldn't tell me before. Oh, that's like, messed up. That would be messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm like, ah. Yeah, that happened. You're like, you like chilling my tea. Like, let me know, please. But. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, no. Well, you know, I gotta be like, no. If I had a, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't mind him telling me. I feel like I would be hurt, but. Yeah. I would rather know than not know. Yeah. I'd get over it. Yeah. I mean, I think growing up, I, my sister would tell me all the time, and I'd be like, right, fuck it, I don't care. That's what I'm wearing, not you. So, like, I feel like if I had a boyfriend, it would kind of just be like, alright, you're telling me, but if he, if I can see what he's talking about, I'll go change. But if I yeah. fuck with what I'm wearing... Yeah. True. I don't know. Is there a credible source? Is their outfit <laughs> is not... Is, they're not... Uh, I don't know, man. Put me in a relationship out. first, and I'll let you guys know. Yeah. I really don't That's know. true. I would listen to their advice, and then I would go ask my friends. <laughs> I'd be like, do you so agree? Like, I would do the same thing. No, my sister would yeah. think about this outfit. Yeah. Maybe for who talks? It's because you know people have different styles. You know what I mean? And that's why it's like. Oh, it's maybe hard. for who talks? Personally, bro, I like what am I? I doing? called my what sister and she told us to change. She told you to change. Wait, 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 what? Wait, we were in some casual fits because I was like, so we're like, oh, it's just who talks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know? yeah. So she called her sister, and her sister made a change. Then she made me change. I was like, I was like, Sydney, you should put a skirt on too. Yeah, I was like, mm. so we changed, and I felt like a bad bitch after. I didn't feel like fucking yeah. a buzzball anymore. So <laughs> okay, wait, that's good. You guys look really cute that day too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you to Jackie's sister. Love you so Someone asked this question: What is the percentage of gold diggers for women? I was like, huh? What is that? What? I, I think I think they're asking like how many percent of the women in the world are gold diggers. And I was like, that's a stupid ass question, but I want to ask you guys. Oh, I don't know. I think a lot. <sighs> I say, what gold? A lot of you guys don't even have gold and you guys are calling- Someone called me a gold digger. Why are you confused right now? Because I heard some- That's little. Little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, someone called me a gold digger and I was like- What gold? I was like, what? And Jeremy, Jeremy- some people, Sometimes people misuse that word. Yeah, it's I, like, there has to be, like, they have to have money in order for me to I think wouldn't a gold digger be like someone who goes after like like a billionaire a billionaire, a billionaire. but a guess billionaire. what you know what you know what all billionaires also go for I'm not saying all of them but they also go for pretty young women so like if if you man if you want to be a gold digger you'd be a gold digger and get your bag that I, really don't don't care. Care. I don't know I don't know what the percentage is but if you can bag that girl or guys go crazy not for you but like why why is it that like we why is it that like men are allowed to be like i want a girl that's skinny has a nice body like boobs as whatever and a pretty face but, but the then when, when a girl a, a girl can't like a guy, a guy with money yeah why i couldn't tell you 
<laughs> I, I don't know. I see that. I see that a lot online, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is what is what's going on here? But I really don't know. Yeah, and it's also annoying if uh, let's just say like a really hot girl is dating a guy that like is considered mid, right? Mm -hmm. And like you could t you could you could definitely tell that like she has mogged him. That one's good. Mogged, okay. mogged, yeah, that one's good. Mogged, mogged. Yeah. Then, but that? I know what that is, I don't know what that is. So mogging is basically, let's just say you're at a club, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a whole bunch of water bottles. Okay. Water bottles? Yeah, like okay. just water bottles. Who's more attractive, you or the water bottles? Me. Exactly. So you just mog <laughs> them. Like you just look bad. <laughs> also, you're like stunning on them girls. Like yeah, like you're literally like... Like the the most beautiful person. I was gonna say standing on the bitches, but like kind of like, like a word. yeah, we were standing a on people. person standing next to like an ugly person. Like, ah, yeah, they mobbed something. I mobbed that guy. Yeah, I said I, I said I said water bottle because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You know what I mean, like people have different standards yeah. of beauty, so I was just like, okay, who um, can maybe. I not hurt? Water bottles. Okay. Okay. Cut the like let's just say out. let's just say let's just say um Moggy Moggy is pretty much yeah when you're stunning on them. Yeah, like Angelina Jolie walks into a club and you're like, holy oh, shit, Angelina Jolie like mobbed everyone here. Yeah. That's what it means, right? So yeah. She gave me up with that one, you're right. A beautiful girl could be with like a mid guy and everyone will be like, oh, I bet he has a lot of money. She's a gold yeah. digger. But it's just like, bro, there are times when girls genuinely like the man. People are always going to have something to say whether you like it or not. Like yeah. that, that's what that's the reality at the end of the day. Someone is always gonna have They're something gonna to say. Their, you're so sad. Whether so it's jealous. positive or negative or whatever the heck it might be, like there's just always something to say. Whether they're calling you beautiful, whether they're saying that you got a burger, whether they're saying that you said the shit, they're gonna say something about you. Yeah. And you know what? It's always something. If you're you if you are a faceless profile, just shut up with the mean comments. Nice comments, cool. Mean comments. What are you doing? I wonder, Show yourself. I wonder when people drop a mean comment, like, why? Like, I could never see myself sitting back, like, like genuinely, like, going and yeah. being like, oh my god, you're, you're literally a toad. Yeah. I'll tell you why, because they've never touched grass. No, but, like, that's insane. Like, like I just that, don't get it. Yeah, like, does that make you feel? I've genuinely good? questioned, I've questioned some people who are like that, like, when I see it on live, I'm like, okay, I see you're hitting on me, like, totally fine. Yeah. It is what it is. No, but it makes them feel good. It but actually makes them feel. It's like a little dopamine. You're like, yeah. You but know? I'm genuinely curious. I like, told why? You. Yeah. I I told you. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Sorry. Think about this. Maybe it's kind of like this type of feeling. Let's just say you have a f you you don't like a person, right? And something bad happens to this person. You're just like serves you right. Maybe but, it's that type of feeling, but you, you know? don't know me. Yeah, but I, maybe to them it kind of feels. Yeah, like you're right. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? What was your favorite thing? Oh shit! About this meal. Hmm. The about the meal? Yes. Uh, the lucky lucky. It was perfect, mixed with the um. Tegan. <laughs> What's that dipping in there right now? Oh, the mandu, dumpling. No, not the dumpling. The squid. Well, honestly, anything, everything. The sweet potato. I think it was a squid. Was the mozzarella? No, no, no. The sweet potato. Okay. I would potato. say kimbap soup tok. Oh. oh. She said kimbap soup tok waki. Whatever the fry stuff was dipped in the tok waki sauce and kimbap. Okay. My favorite was the tok waki. And then I like this. The tea game. And then the soup. And then this. And then kimbap. I would say the kimbap was not my favorite. But it was decent. But yeah. You guys, thank you guys so much for coming. We're thank you. now gonna get fucked up at the club. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? I know, I I know, know, I know, I know, yeah. It's a Monday, Jackie. Is it really? No, it's a Tuesday. But I'm like, it's a Tuesday, Tuesday, Jackie. I was gonna drink like yesterday and I stopped myself. That was the first step. I actually did not go out yesterday. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink. I had the opportunity to go. Oh, where were we gonna go? To Josie's house. Oh, okay. But um, I didn't do it. That's good for you. Step. Good for you. I was gonna say, let's go to Dave and Buster's and go Get play drunk. games. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Well, let's go get drunk and play games. Yeah. But doesn't Dave and Buster's sound fun? I haven't been to Dave and Buster's in a while. I want to do. I love the comment. Oh, round one. You guys might like. Round I've been one. to I love round one. Round one is like the karaoke, the bowling. Yes. Candy. Yes. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching me, Yab. I'm so sorry, guys. Love you. Don't say sorry. <laughs> don't say sorry. That's no, literally what we're here to do. Yab and eat. I think I'm gonna like overthink this whole video. Me? Like, <laughs> like, 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 I'll talk I too much. I don't think I'm like, they probably think I hate my friends. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't guys. hate my friends. I love them. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear.